Hey guys, this is Will with Everyday Adventure, and today's adventure is hitting the Snake River and going after some monster sturgeon. So come along with me as we get in my pontoon boat and we travel over a mile upstream into a big old sturgeon hole. Well, you could see that that was no easy chore getting up. When uh, the river's real high, there's no possible way for me to be able to go up there. I've tried. It's only at low water when I can get out of the pontoon and even have a shot at trying to struggle up that little bit of rapid there. But I'm here. I have arrived and now the sturgeon are no longer safe from my skills so I'm super excited we're gonna we're gonna troll around here a little bit we're gonna use my depth finder with my contour mapping to go back to some of the holes I already know about we're gonna bait up drop it down and get ready for action so I just stopped at the store uh, on my way here uh, just to go get some shrimp you know, usually when guys and girls fish uh, for sturgeon, they're using pieces of a cut bait or fish. And you know what? In a pinch, this stuff works just fine. And so I'm going to go over to my hole. I'm going to throw this on my hook. And then we'll see what happens. Got something, something's interested. I don't know if he can make up his mind. He's chewing on it. Oh, getting more hits. I think this guy's back. He wants some action. Come on, take it, take it, take it and go. I got circle hooks on there, so setting the hook isn't necessarily the best way to go about it. You got to let him take it and go. Got all the slack all of a sudden. Might have taken my gear. Nope. Oh man, he just took the, he was chewing on it, that's for sure. Let's try this again. Now, right where I casted it, it's probably uh, just shy of 100 feet deep, maybe 90 or so feet deep. 
So you got to keep that keep that slack out there for them so that weight has time to get all the way to the bottom. <laughs> And then we just take that slack out, set it up, and wait. I don't think I'm getting another bite here. Come on now. You know, sometimes, I don't know, I've, oh, there we go. Oh, missed him. Let's see if he comes back. I was saying that sometimes that's not necessarily a sturgeon way down there at the bottom. I've caught pike minnow down that low. And boy, that's an aggressive fish. So they'll go for it, no problem. Well, I have not got a hit on this rod while the other one has gotten all the action. So what is going on? Oh, that explains everything. Now, since this thing did not have any bait on it, I'm assuming this one doesn't either since it got that big hit. So this one, I forgot to use the egg loop. I'll show you what I'm doing here with the uh, with the egg loop because it has this uh, has the line designed to be able to poke back up through it and to help and to help secure the bait and so how I put it on as I put it on the op oh, no put it on right here so I leave some room right here at the head and I go up and I'll work my way through just like that and I slide it all the way up now what I do is I take that hook loop or I take the the loop the salmon egg loop is what it's called it's more slack and I feed that up 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 till I can go around that piece of head that I left there to hold on to. Oops. Once it's on, just cinch that up. And now what you have is you have the line tied around the head with the hook going through it. And what this, the line does this really important uh, function of keeping the shrimp from spinning around and covering the hook point. This is a fantastic system. Highly recommend if you're not using a salmon egg loop for your sturgeon rig, uh, you need to start yesterday. So let's toss this one out. See if we can catch a sturgeon with a, when a hook has a, and the hook has bait on it. All right, didn't take long. The little rod is getting bit. It's getting bit good. Oh, I think I got him. Oh, yeah, I got him. What is... No. I don't got him. Let's put that right back down there and see if I didn't scare him away. Getting some hits over here on this, on the shorter rod. Really trying to make up its mind on what it's going to do. Quite. I got him on there. Ooh. I think I got a little guy on there. 
yeah, he's doing pretty fast shakes. It's all right, sturgeon on. Sturgeon's a sturgeon. Still bigger than a, oh, it's, <laughs> okay, what did I tell you? I just said earlier that you can also catch pike minnows. Man, that is one fat pike minnow. That guy swallowed this bait. You know, I'm starting to wonder, is this what has really been hitting my bait the whole time? Uh, it was still fun. You know, I guess don't don't knock a fish if you if you get to catch it. That's good stuff. So let me get this off and get rigged up again. Oh, got another fish. Is it a sturgeon? Is it a pike minnow? This is now the big question. Reeling. Oh, yeah. That's a sturgeon. That's a sturgeon. Oh, no. Oh, boy. Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay. That's what I'm wanting. That's what we're after, folks. Something to bend a big rod in half. Ooh. Uh, the problem here is with fishing with two rods is I think he's wound around my other line. Let's see if I can get him to jump. You pull them up real fast, they tend to, oh yeah, they tend to be willing to put on a show for you. Let's see if we can get a show. I don't think he's too big. Oh, little guy. Oh man, still just a blast to catch though. Just a blast. You can see that, okay. Gorgeous. Just gorgeous fish. Just prehistoric. These scales that they got on them are so cool. I forget the name of them. If you know what the scales are called on the side of these sturgeon, why don't you leave a, com a comment in the comment sections and remind me what they are. There you go, I kicked him loose. And <laughs> he's off. Oh man. That is just super. I love it. Even even the small ones, right? Even the small ones are cool. Dropping it, dropping a rod down 85 feet and pulling in a dinosaur like that. Just so, so cool. If you ever have the opportunity to go fish sturgeon, you're a fool if you never do it. And what's really amazing, years ago I committed myself to figure out the snake. That's the river I'm on right now in uh, south central Idaho. And I, t I told myself that I was going to focus on the snake because it's the closest fishing water to me. And there's no reason that I should not be trying to master my, my home water. So, getting into sturgeon fishing was, was part of that process for me just this year. January was my first sturgeon, and it was just under seven feet. And, and what happens is after you catch your first sturgeon, you get what they call sturgeon brain. It's a, it might be legitimately diagnosable as well. But it's just, you know, catching a fish that's bigger than you. And you saltwater guys, you know exactly what I'm talking about. Catching a fish that's bigger than you is pretty stinking exciting. 
And so if I have a choice between going and catching a bunch of crappie and going and catching a seven foot sturgeon, guess which one I'm choosing? That's right, I'm choosing the sturgeon. Well, I'm gonna throw this down, see if, uh, see if it can hook onto another one. Maybe a bigger one would be nice. And then I'm gonna reel up Big Blue because I'm pretty sure the last time it got hit, it got everything stolen from it. So let's do this again, huh? Well, we've been here about 10 minutes. We've, uh, the current has drifted us into a different part of this hole and the bite stopped. And what that means to me is I need to move. You know, so many people, they'll, they'll stay in one spot forever and not catch anything and use the same old stuff. And if there's any free advice that I could give any fisherman that wants to get better at what they're doing or what they love to do, it's that if you're not catching fish, move. If you are not catching fish, change your bait or change your rig to something that to something you'll catch some fish with. It's kind of a no brainer, but I'm always surprised to see so many guys and gals that will just sit there for hours and not catch a dang thing. And I love to fish. And some people would say getting out is you, you won as long as you can get out. And that's true to a point, but folks, I like catching fish just as much as I like getting out. So you might as well have them both happen at the same time. So since we're not catching any fish, I'm gonna reel up and we're gonna move to a different part of this hole. GoPro stop recording. Well, unfortunately, I don't have the whole day today. I only have the morning. So I get to go to a, a job that I love and that is a good thing. So I'm gonna go ahead and reel up and we're gonna take off and we get to go down over those rapids and then off to the truck and off to load all of the stuff back into the truck and hopefully it'll be safe parked at my job. Guys, thanks so much for joining me on another adventure here. I would love to see a bunch of thumbs up for this video, especially if you'd like to see more sturgeon fishing. I would love to see a bunch of new subscribers. My kids told me I'm too old to be a YouTube star, so I would love for you all to prove them wrong. Help me out with that. And be sure to leave a comment on some of your suggestions. Maybe you heard something over the course of this video that piqued your interest. Be sure to leave a comment and I'd love to, love to hear from all of you. Folks, this was my adventure. Now what's your adventure? Have a good one.